George Santos, if that's his real name. Yeah, he got kicked out of Congress. And look, I feel nothing for this clown. He has done nothing but display his anti-black racism. And for those of you who may not be aware of what he's doing right here, this is a white power sign. So, uh, yeah, he was trying to do all he can to keep himself not only insulated from prosecution, but also, you know, uh, get his, you know, $174,000 a year salary and all that, right? But I just got one question for the Congressional Black Caucus. Where are you guys at denouncing this guy and calling this guy out for, for what he is, right? Because the media, for, to their discredit, left out the part where he displayed his racist and, uh, and bigoted and um, white supremacist ideology and all that, right? They left that part out. Now, they talked about everything else when it comes to this guy, about how he's a liar, how he's a con man, how he's a grifter, how he took money uh, from donors to uh, buy boat talks and, and OnlyFans and, and other stuff, right? They talked about all that, but they left out the part that he is an anti-black racist. And if you understand the whole principle and the whole fabric of this country and all that, right? This is a anti-black racist establishment. And I wish a lot of these people out here who's supposed to be our so-called black leaders would fucking step up. Not when they're looking to secure some votes or not when they're looking to uh, secure some campaign cash or whatever like that. Right. I mean, why don't these politicians address the real issues here in America? You got joblessness, homelessness. You got uh, people out here who can't afford uh, basic medical care. You got people out here who are struggling to make ends meet because everything else is going up. You got food prices going up, gas prices going up. You got fucking taxes going through the damn roof. I'm talking about on the local, state and federal levels. And they set up here running these con games. You got this guy right here, you know, who's basically milking off the government for what it's worth. And for all you people out there that's running your mouth, talking shit about, oh, I don't need no handout from the government. You don't think these guys is getting handouts? Case in point, John McCain, right? John McCain did time in the military. John McCain also became a U.S. senator. I'm talking about the late John McCain. Right? So he got, he getting retirement from the military, disability from the military. He's working in government as a politician, so he's getting money from them and he's getting senior citizens. So he don't got to work no more. He don't got to work no more. Liz Cheney, another, um, you know, woman who worked in Congress who's a warmongerer, right? Now, to my knowledge, she hadn't done no time in the military, but as a congressperson, all you got to do is five years and you get pensions for life. All you got to do is five years. So basically, as a senator, you got to do one term in the Senate because one term in the Senate goes about six years, right? Right. Between the time you get elected and uh, re-election, whatever like that, right? So basically, if you if you secure two terms in the Senate, you will get a pension for life. Because remember, all you gotta do is five years, you get a pension, right? So as a senator, if you if you secure like two terms, you're guaranteed to get a pension. As a congresswoman or a congressman. If you secure three terms in Congress, then you will get a pension for life because as a congressman, you run every two years. 
so you know meanwhile people who doing time in the military got to do 20 years we get a piece of check and a piece of disability and then uh, as far as like the priorities for the veterans that get uh shoved way down the list of priorities when it comes to them but this guy this guy is a disgusting useless hack he is He is. He is a disgusting, useless hack. He ain't worth nothing. I mean, what could you say about this guy that was like, you know, George Santos is an upstanding guy who's who's fights for the will of the people. No, he just like boat talks and OnlyFans and drag shows and, you know, his occasional, you know, dose of dick. Let's be honest. Right? This guy is a flaming hot Cheeto in more ways than one. I mean, he is, you know, the spicy salsa that's running around out here. He no longer served their purpose and he was voted out. Now, he's going to try to come up with a book, you know, ex, you know, exposing all the stuff that goes on in Congress when it comes to sex and drugs and all that. But, you know, it's nothing that we don't know already because that idiot Madison Cawthorn spilled the beans about all that last year before he got primaried out. So for you to come out there and say this now, for what? I mean, we already know this. We already know that he like, you know, cocaine-induced masquerades and 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 and, and, and um, massive orgies amongst each other and all that. When it comes to the lobbyists, the media members, and the congressmen and women, we know this already. You guys are not upstanding citizens. You're nothing more than an in club. That insulate yourself from, from accountability and all that. This man had the nerve to call himself running his mouth about Rosa Parks for crying out loud. And we all know in the black community how we feel about Rosa Parks and the, st and the stand she took in the midst of the civil rights movement. And this motherfucker this stupid ass dick in the booty ass motherfucker right here wanna call himself running his mouth about goddamn on rules of parks. How do you out of your fucking mind, dude? Goddamn on George Santos, if that's his real goddamn name. Running his mouth about rules of parks. Dude. You don't sit your white supremacist piece of trash ass down somewhere. Oh, that got under my skin when I heard what he said about Rosa Parks. The nerve of you, dude. And Joy Reid, for once in her life, actually called that Batman out. But yeah, man, I feel nothing for George Santos. You're done. You're done. The Brazilian feds are going to come get your ass for what you did back in 2011, right? If the feds here in the States don't kick down your door first. So yeah, take your anti-black racist ass over the jail, buddy. Because that's where you going next, stupid ass motherfucker. Fuck out of here. Bitch ass motherfucker. Piece of shit. White supremacist. White trash you. Let me know what y'all think, man. This your man. Scream at me. Hurt.